And Jamie Foxx as Max Dillon uh, is in his amazing comb over is just sort of, but he's is a great sort of example of that. But also, you know, Paul Giamatti, who's playing the Rhino, is one of the funniest villains I think I've seen in a really long time. But there's still that great, you know, uh, there's that threat, there's that, you know, playful combat that, that uh, Spider-Man is engaged in with uh, these villains. And I think the opening, uh, the opening car chase sequence is going to be really a, a great example of that. Because the last movie had to, he, there, there was, he had to build up into being Spider-Man. And this one, he starts off being Spider-Man, and he's really good at being Spider-Man. He is a virtuoso at Spider-Man-ness. So, you know, he's uh, whipping through the air, he's uh, flying towards us. There's this sort of uh, really vibrant uh, uh, wish fulfillment that's going on, that that feeling of flying through the air. We've really focused it on, on trying to uh, give the audience, uh, and especially the kids, that feeling of what it's like to fly through the air. Uh, and there's a lot more of that this time around. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time with our animators and, and with uh, our stuntmen trying to perfect that that sense of flight, which I think is, you know, there's some dreamlike quality to it that, you know, is imbued in, it's, it's just part of the comic books, but when you put it in the, the cinematic universe, there's something incredibly thrilling about this kid, because he's a kid, uh, you know, jumping off the tops of buildings and flying through the air with the greatest, uh, with, with uh, you know, an enormous amount of velocity and just having a blast doing it. We had a lot of conversations about um, who, the, who we're making this movie for. And we all felt really protective of that eight-year-old kid, a ten-year-old kid in us that fell in love with Spider-Man when we were growing up. And, and, and there is a, there's a kid in the movie, and I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna ruin the surprise of where he comes in, but, uh, who dresses up as Spider-Man? You can see it in some of the press photos, and you get that feeling. I mean, there's it's a a it's for a kid. I think it's going to feel really thrilling and like exciting to 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 be a part of the Spider-Man universe in a very specific way. But for all of us, you know, being a kid is a universal experience. We've all been there. We all understand those feelings of wonder and awe and excitement, and and uh, that's really elemental. It's a very big part of the foundation of of. Spider-Man and, and what gives it its uh, appeal. Electro is one of the most cinematic villains that you can imagine because you know, he glows, he has the power of uh, electricity and he's really godlike and and when you know you're trying to come up with a, a, an interesting movie you want that story to tell, I mean, the, 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 the adversaries, the obstacles that you have to put in front of Spider-Man's way, you know, they become greater and greater. And, and uh, you know, Spider-Man uh, is, really, like I said before, Spider-Man is really good at being Spider-Man. How are you going to come up with a foe that's got uh, uh, enough chops to give him a, a run for his money? I think there's something universal about the Spider-Man character and when you walk around whether it's New York or Wisconsin or China or Europe or Africa or Asia or Australia or you know Tulsa Oklahoma Spider-Man's around everybody knows who Spider-Man is and to participate in that kind of culture that touches so many people is incredibly humbling and exciting and, and, and being able to create with this wonderful team of people uh, stories and images and feelings that um, hopefully will touch people uh, is an enormous responsibility but is a blast. It is so much fun and it's really exciting and, and, and I feel uh, incredibly lucky to have that opportunity.